What's poppin'? It's your boy, Kaden the Rake. Kaden the Don, Rake, Kill, K, and we in it. And today's topic is gonna be persistence without being needy, bro. It's a such thing as being persistent, bro. Honestly, let's get straight to it, bro. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Let's get straight to it. So it's this common thought process that in the red pill community and everything that you can't be persistent because that's being beta or somehow being needy, too needy or too just out there. You know what I mean? And this is part of the things I don't like about the red pill community, bro. If y'all been following me for a while, y'all know I don't like all those buzzwords like red pill and alpha and all of that. I use them because they're buzzwords, bro. They literally like just bring traffic to the channel and they grab the attention of the guys who need the attention grab. But the reality of the whole situation is you have to have some level of empathy, bro. You have to. Like, I don't care what no other dating coach, no other person, anybody say. You have to have some level of empathy towards women. If you just out here treating these women cold and just in the beginning of the interaction with a woman or all through an interaction with a woman, you cold with her, then she not going to respond to you the way that you want her to respond. And that's just real shit. Like, as a human being, would you want to be around somebody who just cold to you 24-7, bro? Honestly. These techniques work with moderation, bro. They all work with moderation. So how do you be persistent without being needy, bro? That's where you understand the art of time, bro, and how to utilize time. That's all that is, bro. Yeah, you can be persistent. Too many guys, too many guys hit me up and they like, well, she did this one thing where like she, she didn't text me back fast enough so should i just go into no contact should i just leave her alone should i just do this do that no man come on now like dude she could have got busy she got other things going on she could realistically be dating other people if y'all not in an exclusive monogamous relationship bro she could be dating other people bro just like you should be you feel me so when you think about it in your head it's like you have to be fucking cognizant of the fact that she has a life or she should and she got other things going on and you not the only thing in her life you ain't the only thing that she fixated on bro now she should have a high enough attraction level to where if you hit her up she gonna return your call she gonna return your text she gonna hit you back bro it is a big fine line bro between a woman just blowing you off and you needing to be a little bit more persistent with a woman. Like some of you guys, y'all miss out on so much cat. Y'all miss out. Some of the red pill guys, bro. Miss out on so much cat. You miss out on so many females and potential prospects that you could have had. By just walking away after the first time a female say, Nah, I'm busy. I can't come hang out with you. Or I'm busy. I can't do a date that day. Or hey, can we reschedule a date, right? A lot of y'all like, oh, she just did me dirty. I'm walking away from her immediately, bro. No. So here's the rule of thumb. If you try to make a date two times with a woman, right? And she get you to run around. That's when you walk away. You don't contact her again, right? So for example, a really good example. And I'm going to keep this video short because I'm going to show y'all the difference between persistence and and being needy, bro. So, for example, if you hit a woman up on Monday, right? And y'all supposed to go out Friday. She hit you up and she like, well, I can't this week. Something came up with work. It could be a lie. Who knows? Something came up with work. I can't this week. Boom. That's the first time she ever did that to you, right? Okay, cool. Wait two weeks. You wait two weeks. If you don't hear from her in that two weeks, right, you hit her up one more time, bro. You hit her up one more time and you start the process over again and you try again, right? So, boom, you try again 
and let's say she end up down this time. Let's say you end up with the girl, you go out on a date and everything's smooth. Think about that. That's persistence, right? That's like, you know what? I'm she she may have flaked, she may have been telling the truth, but I'm gonna call her on her bluff. I'm gonna be a little bit persistent with the situation. I'm not just gonna walk away after the first time I don't get what I want, right? Here's what's being needy. You hit up, she cancel on you. You hitting up a day, two days later. Did you find out if you free yet? Did you find out your schedule? Did you find out what's going on? That's being needy, bro. All we saying is don't run up behind these females and everything. Give her time in between to sort whatever she got going on out, bro. You just never know, bro. You never know what's going on. And it could be actual things that's going on. And that's what I, that's one thing I don't like about the Red Pill community, to be honest with you. I guess I identify as Red Pill, I guess. But one thing I don't like about the Red Pill community is they're teaching guys to lack empathy. And that's not what we're doing over here, bro. We got empathy. Don't lack empathy. Because you could lose out on prospects doing shit like that, bro. But anyway, I ain't need to do the intro, bro. I'm just a little pressed about, like, what I've been seeing lately and everything and how guys have been lately, and I don't like that shit at all. So, it's your boy, Kaden the Dime, Kaden the Rake, Rake Kale K, and any dude who really in this shit, in the trenches with us, bro, any dude, bro, any dude who get women, who know his thing, know his way around women and got prospects, he know that. You have to have empathy with women, bro. You have to have some understanding of emotional intelligence, bro. You have to. So work on that, bro. Y'all need me to make a video about it. Let me know in the comments below. It's your boy, Kate Alpha Nerd, man. I'm out of here, bro.